Welcome back everyone. In this video, uh, we're gonna compare uh, watches made in Switzerland, made in uh, Japan, made in uh, Russia, made in China, made in uh, Germany and made in France. The comparison is gonna be uh, made using a time grapher, uh, the Weishi 1900 uh, time grapher. Uh, nice instrument made in China. Hopefully this is not gonna bias the comparison to the Chinese made watches uh, So uh, We'll see. All right. We'll start first with the uh, Swiss made watches. I have here uh, three watches from uh, my collection uh, The first one is a uh, Tissot. Uh, this is one of my uh, if not the favorite Swiss made watch that I have um, I see through case back uh, it's very nice. Um, the only thing that I uh, would complain about this watch is uh, that it doesn't have a uh, screw uh, down case back. Otherwise, uh, the looks of it are, are just uh, wonderful. The other second watch that I'm gonna uh, have in this battle of watches is a Certina uh, DS1 automatic uh, black dial. Um, also, a uh, see-through case back. It's very nice. Again, the same complaint as for the Tissot. Uh, doesn't have a uh, screw-down case back. But otherwise, it's just a beautiful watch. Last but not least, in uh, this uh, set of uh, Swiss-made watches, I have an uh, Eterna automatic uh, white dial. Also, yeah, see through. Uh, this one has uh, the case back. Uh, screw down with five screws, uh, which is uh, typical for um, eternal watches. So um, let's uh, measure uh, all of these watches uh, using the time grapher in uh, three different positions: dial up, uh, crown up, and crown down, which are uh, um, typical or representative uh, positions uh, of uh, wearing a watch, uh, normally on, uh, on the left hand. All right, for this battle of watches, uh, we'll measure, we'll test every watch in three positions, dial up, crown up, and crown down. However, to keep the video short, we'll show only the measurement for uh, the first watch, uh, for the Tissot watch, uh, dial up, uh, for which the lift angle uh, needs to be uh, 50 degrees which I uh, set up over here and uh, we'll uh, now uh, do the testing so there we go on an average um, it's about uh, uh, plus two seconds um, a day the three Japanese watches that I will use in this uh, battle of watches um, are a Seiko, an Orient, and a Citizen. The Seiko is a uh, Seiko Presage, uh, or Presage, whatever, uh, green dial, uh, the famous Zen Garden version. Um, this one is uh, one of my favorite uh, watches, definitely the favorite among the Japanese uh, watches. Very, very nice uh, watch. Uh, you'd see here a uh, see-through case back as well. Uh, screw down. Uh, this is just a uh, super, super beautiful watch. One of my favorites. Uh, the Orient is also uh, very nice. Uh, luminous hands, uh, power reserve. Uh, see-through case back. The Citizen, uh, a cheaper version uh, of a watch, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I love this dial. Uh, this is a really nice watch, uh, see-through, case back as well. Uh, These uh, three uh, watches are from uh, three uh, major uh, manufacturers of uh, Japanese watches, so uh, let's test them uh, out. All right, so uh, next uh, we're gonna look at uh, German made watches. Uh, I have got here three watches. Uh, 
The first one is a uh, Junkers G38 automatic. You see here, it says made in Germany. However, uh, this watch as well as the other two, uh, while uh, they are made in Germany, they all use um, Japanese or Swiss made uh, watch movements. So they are not really completely, completely made in Germany. They are more like uh, Swiss made or Japanese made uh, movements masqueraded as um, German made watches. So the Germans in this case make just the uh, cases. Um, so um, if you are a uh, German uh, watchmaker out there uh, who wants to save face, uh, please send me uh, your watch. Uh, and I will uh, test it uh, fair and square and add it here in the battle watches. Um, Zin uh, Glasshute, if you are listening, if you are watching this, uh, uh, get in touch. So in any case, uh, these uh, are still watches made in Germany. Uh, at least this is uh, the context in which uh, we're going to test these watches. This is a very nice uh, watch uh, with a uh, see-through case back. Uh, you see here a uh, Miyota or Mayata. Uh, this is going to be the first one. Uh, the other one is uh, a uh, Zeppelin blue dial. This is a uh, power reserve watch. Just a uh, beautiful, beautiful watch. It says made in, Ger in Germany, as you can see over here. Uh, a beautiful uh, movement. A uh, 91 32 movement. Uh, Mayota. And uh, finally, uh, uh, Risto automatic, you see here again made in Germany, uh, but uh, the movement uh, the movement is a uh, Swiss made uh, Salita SW200, I, I believe, 38.8 uh, uh, millimeters in, in diam diameter, uh, pilot style watch. Uh, very nice watch. I like this watch a lot too. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and uh, test them. All right, so here we have the Russian trio of troopers. Uh, I have got here first a uh, Polyot uh, automatic. Uh, this is a new old stock watch. I've got uh, shipped uh, via, uh, via eBay uh, from Russia. Uh, just about 120 bucks. The other one uh, is a uh, Poliot Deluxe. Uh, this is a mechanical watch and uh, winding. Uh, also a new old stock. Uh, this is the watch that I uh, used to have in college. And uh, the third one is a uh, Buran, brand new watch. Uh, this one uh, does have a case made out of steel, uh, limited edition. Uh, it's my favorite in this uh, set of Russian watches. Uh, now, uh, none of them uh, has a see-through case, so I'm gonna open uh, them up and uh, come back uh, in a bit. All right, so um, I opened them up uh, for you to see. Uh, it's always fun to open open up the watches and, and take a look at uh, their uh, movements. So this is the uh, Poliot automatic. See, it's uh, really nice. You can have an idea about uh, what a Russian automatic uh, movement looks like this way. Uh, the one thing that I would uh, <coughs> really complain about is uh, is this plastic. Uh, ring around that uh, helps to keep the movement that is a bit smaller than the case itself in place. Uh, I always uh, frown upon uh, such plastic uh, inside uh, watches that uh, that uh, mention that they are all uh, stainless steel. In any case, it's still a uh, nice movement, uh, the typical uh, Polyot uh, Russian of 20-30 uh, years ago. Now this one uh, this one is a beauty, um, as you can see, very, 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 very thin. Uh, I read somewhere on, the, on online that <coughs> this watch uh, had won at some point some, some award uh, in Geneva. 
being uh, very nice and uh, very thin uh, manual, uh, manual uh, wind. Finally, uh, the Buran watch. Very nice uh, and winding mechanism moment as, as well. You can see over here, 17 jewels in Russia. Looks pretty nice. Uh, too bad it doesn't have a uh, see-through case back to sometimes uh, admire this, this moment. Uh, well, there you have it. Now uh, you've seen uh, quite a few uh, Russian movements. Um, All right, here we have the Chinese. Uh, made watches. Uh, I have three of them. Uh, the first one uh, is this one, a uh, Seagal automatic compressor style with a uh, screw down case back, all stainless steel. We'll see about that. Uh, I'll open it in a bit. Uh, the other one is another Seagal, uh, the 100th anniversary. Uh, that's a very nice watch a uh, see-through case back uh, it does say here all stainless steel however if you look carefully inside you will see uh, the plastic ring around inside uh, that holds the movement in place um, i don't like uh, manufacturers who write on their watches all stainless steel while using plastic components inside uh, so that's not absolutely true uh, nevertheless, this is a uh, beautiful, beautiful watch. Uh, not my favorite though. Uh, this one is my favorite. And uh, finally here, we have a mechanical hand wind um, watch parness uh, with a uh, see-through case back that uh, shows uh, the entire movement very nicely. So uh, I'll first open up uh, this watch uh, for us to see uh, the movement and after that I will uh, test so them. here is the seagull the first one that I showed you earlier uh, this is my favorite the dial is just super nice however as you can see here uh, it does use uh, a plastic ring as well I don't know why uh, they say all stainless steel on the case back over here while plastic is used inside. Um, the movement is nice, a typical seagull movement. Uh, as you can see over here. Mm, nothing special. Uh, but it's uh, nice to look at. Uh, too bad it doesn't have a uh, see-through case back. Well, uh, off I go uh, to test all, all of this with the time graph. All right, so uh, here we are uh, after we uh, collected all the measurements using the time graph for all the watches that I showed you. Uh, the uh, Swiss, uh, Japan-made, German, Russian-made watches and the Chinese-made watches. Um, the column and all of these tables for all of these uh, types of watches that uh, we want to look at is the column that shows the rate, seconds per day, uh, measurements with dial up, crown up and crown down. And um, I've got the watches that I showed you over here, uh, the photographs and, and the, on the right hand most uh, side of this Excel uh, spreadsheet, I'm showing my ranking based on uh, this uh, measurements. And uh, the first prize, the first place, uh, go to the Chinese made watches. Uh, surprisingly, uh, they beat the, Japan, the um, uh, Swiss made watches, particularly the hand uh, winding watch. Uh, the Paris one uh, is very, very good, uh, very accurate. Uh, the second, uh, we have the Swiss made watches, which are pretty good uh, consistently on an average. Uh, the third place is taken by the German made watches, which surprisingly are all made using uh, Japanese or Swiss made watches, but at least in this um, batch of watches that I looked at, they uh, tend to be uh, performing a bit better than the actual Japanese made watches that are shown uh, over here, as, as you can see. And uh, 
Lastly, the Russian made watches um, are not that uh, accurate, uh, as you can see over here. So uh, they uh, come in and to the fifth place. So in conclusion, uh, at least uh, looking at all of these watches, uh, instances of, of watches that I showed you, uh, the Japanese, uh, the Chinese ones come in uh, into the first place. Uh, the Swiss made uh, watches come into the second place, the German made watches with Japanese and Swiss made uh, movements come into the third place, followed by the Japanese watches and lastly the Russian made watches. Now uh, that's all I've got to uh, show you. Please um, leave a uh, comment and uh, tell me what you think and which ones uh, you liked the best among all of these watches that I showed you.